and welcome to the Case IH Axle Flow 250 Series Combine Operation Guide. In this video, we shall be looking at the residue management system, its features and operation. Before any work or inspection is carried out on the combine, please ensure that the engine is switched off and the batteries are isolated. Open the guards and raise the rear ladder into its work position. The residue management system is always working as soon as the combine threshing and cleaning system is engaged. Looking at the drive lines to the choppers, the two belts coming forward at an approximate 45 degree downward angle drive the integral Magna Cut 40 or 120 blade chopper. And if fitted, the hood mounted extra chop is driven via the rearward belts and idler pulleys at an approximate 45 degree downward angle. All belt tensions need checking every 50 hours. To ensure nice equal distribution of residue on the ground or in the swath for baling, it will be necessary for the residue to be fed from the threshing rotor centrally into the integral chopper. This will vary depending upon the moisture and weight of the residue. Adjustment is carried out by moving the deflector, located between the rotor and the chopper, to the left in or right out using the manual or motorized lever on the right side of the combine. The motor is controlled by a switch located in the cab and movement is shown momentarily on the Pro 700 screen. Visual inspection behind the combine is necessary to check that the spread has been correctly adjusted. The integral Magna Cut chopper has a two speed selector on the input shaft, selectable from within the cab or from the switch in the toolbox. Select high speed for chopping operations and low speed for swathing operations. The chopper shaft bearings on the left and right need grease every 100 hours. These areas need blowing down and cleaning every day or more using compressed air. The extra chop has a two speed drive pulley. Normally the belt is fitted to the high speed side, but if you are chopping maize stalks, then it should be fitted into the slow speed pulley. Just above the batteries near the frame of the combine is a small hydraulic ram. This ram controls the position of the Magna Cut fixed knives and has up to five positions. Out for swathing, 25% in, 50%, 75% and 100% in for chopping. Note it is limited to out and 25% in when used in conjunction with the extra chop. Open the tool cupboard and you will find additional switches and a fuse box. Two of the switches located in this cupboard, mirrored on the Pro 700 run screens, are the residue swath open or chop closed rear door switch and the Magna Cut swath low or chop high speed switch. The usual combinations are door open low speed, selected to form a swath, door closed high speed, selected to spread chop material. Two other combinations are possible, but care should be taken if used not to inadvertently block the chopper or spreaders. The clearance between the Magna Cut chopper and its concave should be set at 10 mm. It is adjusted using the bolts in slotted holes on the sides of the combine frame. The red shear bar, normally stored under the concave, can be moved to the top of the concave to create a finer chop. But be aware this is power and fuel hungry and advisably be used if all other adjustments have been tried. Considering the standard residue system for a moment. When the residue for swathing leaves the Magna Cut chopper, it is thrown through the open door, lands on the straw chute to kill the speed and falls to the ground. The straw chute angle is manually adjusted depending upon terrain and wind conditions. Too flat could block the chopper. Too steep will allow straw to be driven into the stubble, extending the drying time for baling. 
raise the chute completely for roading. Residue coming off the sieves falls into the spreading discs and is thrown out to the sides of the combine. When the chopping mode is selected, chopped residue and chaff falls into the vertical spreading system. To ensure an even spread of material, there are several adjustments available to the operator. From experience, manually set the outer deflectors as wide as possible. Then, using the control arm switches, set the disc speed to approximately 750 RPM for spreading most crops, or set the disc speed at approximately 350 RPM for spreading corn stalks. Adjust the central spread actuator to get an equal amount of spread behind the combine as well as to the sides. Adjust the side actuators to get the correct overall spread width and if required, adjust individually to account for any side winds. Visually inspect the results and make further adjustments as required. To gain access to the sieves, pull the two release levers at the sides and lift the whole spreader assembly until it locks into the inspection position. If the extra chop, sometimes referred to as the ready cop or hood mounted chopper, is fitted, there are some obvious differences. One being that the chopper is also used as the spreader. Extra semi fixed deflectors are fitted on the Magna Cut concave. These are normally set as per the instructions in the operator's manual, checked during the first few days of harvest and fine tuned after a few weeks. This allows for the deflectors, hood, and ensemble to shine up. When swathing, the sieve chaff falls into the chopper for spreading. The straw comes through the door above the chopper and is assisted by the hydraulically driven roller. The speed of the assist roller is controlled from within the cab and has a range from 50 to 250 RPM. Choose the slower speed to minimize any straw hang up in the door area. The swath falls onto the straw chute which kills the exit speed and then the straw falls to the ground. The straw shoot angle is adjusted via the switches on the control arm depending upon the terrain and wind conditions. Too flat could block the chopper. Too steep will allow straw to be driven into the stubble, extending drying time for baling. An external switch is also located on the left hand side of the extra chop frame in order to lower or raise the chute. Especially useful if access to the engine platform is required. Raise the chute completely for roading. The swath fingers can be lifted, turned and lowered into various positions to widen or narrow the swath accordingly. When chopping, the door is closed and all residue falls into the chopper. The residue is then spread equally across the crop cut width. Raising or lowering the spread boards can adjust the throw. Individual use of the spread boards can take account of any crosswinds. This is realized using the control arm switches in conjunction with the Pro 700 controls. On both systems, one of the Pro 700 run screens need to be set up with the following information. Chopper speed door position, spread set point, left spread width, right spread width, spreader roller speed, spread distribution, not required if the extra chop is fitted, and knife engagement percentage. When the combine is not engaged, this screen enables you to instantly see the residue management information. You are able to choose between four swath and chop combinations and memorize three settings for the spreading widths. For example, middle switch for normal and light breeze conditions and the others for left crosswind and right crosswind. Tap the relevant button on the screen so that it turns black. Adjust the spreader positions using the switches on the control arm to give you the correct spread. The position is automatically saved. Carry out the same procedure for the other two similar buttons on the screen. Thereafter, touching the buttons will automatically move the spread boards to their saved positions. The extra chop stationary knives are manually positioned by loosening the lock bolts on both sides and moving the knife lever up and down accordingly to achieve the required chop length. The chaff board also need adjusting up and down depending if you are swathing or chopping. 
In both cases, locking bolts need loosening to make the adjustments, then tightening again before work begins. To gain access to the sieves and combine interior, push the higher of the two levers rearward to its vertical position and pull down the inner rubber curtain. To gain access to the extra chop knives and fan blades, fully lower the lever and pull down the curtain. For working, position and lock the lever at an approximate 45 degree angle and tuck the curtain over the top so as to direct chaff into the chopper. The fan blades are located at both ends of the chopper and add additional blast of air to assist residue spreading. Whether it be for the magna cut or extra chop, please consult your operator's manual for all knife replacement and balance procedures. Always remember that more comprehensive information, including safety, specifications and maintenance procedures, can be found in the operator's manual, which should be read prior to harvest operations, maintenance and repairs. Thank you for watching and have a great season.